Hey guys, Silence Yo here. Welcome back to another Pokemon Masters episode with me. So this time around, we are going to take a look at Hilda's event and see how difficult it is to try and clear the highest difficulty of the event's challenge. So yeah, if you guys have already scouted for Hilda and you've managed to obtain Hilda, that's wonderful news! But is she actually a good trainer? You might want to watch my last video where we scout for Hilda to find out if she is a useful trainer among your collections or not. So here we go, let's take a look at Hilda's brand new event. Of course, you have to go through the single player before it unlocks the co-op mode as usual, similar to Blues. Alright, a sweet festival had taken over the city for the day. A long time of eager customers queued up in front of one of the festival's best sellers, the famous Castilia Cone from Castilia City. <laughs> Just a little further, Silent Seal, we're almost to the front. It's been ages since I've had a Castil. I have a very hard time pronouncing that. I apologize, guys. Uh, Castilia Cone. I'm so excited. Hello? Are they really that good? <laughs> They really, really are. Watch, one bite and you'll be addicted. <laughs> Plus, they need to look like vanilla. So they're really cute too. Mama. Oh, I already know what they look like. I did some research before coming here today. I want to know how they taste. What about the texture? Are they more creamy or airy? What do you like most about Castellica Cones? Uh, I'm gonna butcher that name all the way. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize you were that interested. Why the sudden curiosity about codes? I'm just gonna go with codes. <laughs> it's a tongue twister to pronounce that. <laughs> I want to figure out why certain things become popular. What is it about them that makes so many people go crazy? I would love to find out about how YouTube videos work too. <laughs> Uh, it's important to be eager to learn, no matter what the topic is. The same goes for applying that knowledge to your Pokemon battles. Mm. You really love learning, huh? As for cones, I think tasting one for yourself will be a lot more helpful than asking me to describe them. Plus, it'd be more fun that way, am I right? <laughs> I suppose that's true. Alright then, I look forward to tasting one myself. That person just cut the line. <laughs> Look, a gap in the line just for me. Guess today's my lucky day. Mama. Excuse me? What do you think you're doing? Cutting in line is against the rules. Huh? Who cares? What's the big deal anyways? You can't expect me to wait in line for hours just for some dumb ice cream. Huh? Dumb ice cream? Dumb ice cream? Cones are famous, they always sell out immediately, even in Castellia City, where they're originally from. <laughs> Waiting in line for hours to get your hands on one is part of what makes it so delicious. You really don't get it at all, do you? <laughs> Sheesh, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. <laughs> Regardless, I won't tolerate rule breaking. Now march yourself right up to the back of the line. Okay, I guess we're gonna fight her to teach her a lesson about etiquettes. <laughs> there we go. First time team up. Oh, okay, so we get to sample Hilda and Tepic's power. So we can let's see for ourselves firsthand whether she is actually like what I say. She's not that useful of a trainer because she self inflicts damage to herself, or rather, Tepic does. Alright, here we go. Alright, so flame charge. Oh, we don't even have that useful skill. Dang, that's kind of a bummer. So, I think we're over leveled against the opponent. That's one of the reasons why we're doing so much damage. So, let's take a look at Flare Blitz to see what kind of a. Uh, Recoil the face. There we go. Okay, so it's not a lot 
at this point of sight. But uh, if you guys are familiar familiar with some of the other uh, Pokemon trainers that are available in the game right now, who who does self inflicting damage as well, like Double Edge, you probably know how um, you know effective that trainer and her Pokemon is uh, when it comes to fighting against high level ah. opponents. Uh, fine then. I'll go to the back of the dumb line. Happy? The two of you are quite strong, aren't you? I'm impressed. Although your battle style is a bit on the reckless side. Yeah, I have to agree. That's exactly how Tapic is set up to be. Very reckless. <laughs> what? I wouldn't call it reckless. How will you know if something's gonna work or not if you don't jump in there and give it a try? <laughs> Travelling around the Unova region taught me to take the initiative. <sighs> if you stop and think for too long, sometimes you end up missing your chance. Yours? What I'm trying to say is that it's good to take action. You can always reflect on things later. No, <laughs> you should consider things first before taking actions. You're gonna regret your actions later. <laughs> Girl, you're teaching wrong life lessons here. That's how I intend to raise my topic from now until she evolves into a fiery end ball. <sighs> Interesting. I guess I've never really thought of it that way. <laughs> What's your stance? Uh, for the thing first, act later. <laughs> I <laughs> knew you say that. Great minds think alike. Anna? Pardon me? If you're not busy at the moment, do you want to have a Pokemon back? <laughs> Wait, we're all queuing for ice cream. Why are we fighting in line? <laughs> I was watching you battle earlier and now I'm itching to fight. Oh, really? Well, maybe another battle will help Hilda see sense when it comes to the importance of good planning. Or it helped Roxanne realize that action is more important than planning everything out. You're on. Oh. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. So all the opponents seem to be weak against fire. So flame charge. Alright, let's do flat blitz. I mean we're gonna win. So I don't see how it's gonna be a lesson. Considering all the Pokemon are weak against fire. I mean considering that it's at a low level opponent. You know, the attacks don't seem reckless at all. But when you're fighting against opponents who can one-hit KO you with sing moves, or even regular moves, Tepic is definitely not a Pokemon to have. You know, set up like this. That was awesome! Another win for us! My thorough planning and calm cool analysis seem to have done the trick. And I knock down the competition with brute strength. <sighs> when it comes to battle style, we really are complete opposites, aren't we? <sighs> but we managed to win this fight that I don't understand. Attention all customers, currently in line for a comb. Thank you for waiting, but we just sold our last comb for the day. Oh, come on. We are now sold out. Oh man, look at all the furious trainers. <laughs> what? How could they sell out so soon? Well, we've waited all this time. I can't believe we missed out. Shoot. I was really looking forward to having a comb today. <laughs> um, can I help you with something? Oh, don't mind me. I just thought I'll take this opportunity to perform an analysis to you on your Pokemon. Your battle earlier has been quite intrigued. Huh? Huh? Analysis? You didn't even ask us first. Mama. Hey, look. He's got four codes. <laughs> what? Nani? Oh, these? 
We bought them for an experiment and plan to feed them to Pokemon and observe their responses. Why, do you want them? I guess I could let them go if you agree to battle me instead. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. Collecting data from your Pokemon is worth more to me than any few ice cream cones. <laughs> this will be fun. I look forward to analyzing all of your data. Okay. Alright, let's boot him up just for some ice cream. I guess if that's the only ice cream parlor around in Pasio, I guess that's all worthwhile. <laughs> right, here we go. Flame charts. Right, once again, all Pokemon are weak against fire because, well, Tetic is the, um, the star of the show. So far, we've not been able to use the uh, sync moves. Oh wow! Look at the look at the health I have on Surfing right now. Oh, the energy use on Surfing is really, really not efficient. So like two energy and three energy. Maybe my speed is totally maxed out. Apparently, it's still boosting. So you can see that the opponents this time round have a bit more health. Okay. Oh, you have X defense. Oh, so. Oh wow! Look at my HP. I'm burned. No wait, I'm not. So it's, I guess it's from the flame blitz. So here we go. We have our sync move. Let's take a look at the sync move. So if it wasn't for the other trainer around um, with the X defense all, I guess the pick is really paper thin. But even so, boosting defense doesn't really do much. Uh, if the opponent's attack damage is way more than your defense, it's still kind of pointless. Whoa, whoa! You keep, you're even more impressive than I thought. We did it! That was some excellent teamwork! It's like we were totally in sync. We make such an awesome team. The question is, how though? Right? How battle styles are like polar opposites. Hmm, this can't be right. My data interpreting machine was just reading at 78% mo a moment ago. Oh, don't mind me. Just mumbling to myself. You can just ignore that number. <laughs> It seems my data analysis was insufficient to keep up with the movements and commands of you three and your Pokemon. Oh. Sub potential, sub optimal performance indeed. I stand defeated. Nah. Wait, are you saying we were so in sync that we broke your machine? How awesome is that? <laughs> Our styles may be totally different, but when we were battling together, it felt like something just clicked. I have to collect a lot more data to be sure. I think there's something else at work here. Something that can't be expressed in numbers. Ah, uh, that reminds me. Four cones in exchange for a battle, as promised. <laughs> Woohoo! Finally! <laughs> Thank you, Thor Thornton? Okay, another name that's hard to pronounce. <laughs> Wait. Oh no. No! You're totally melted! Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Though that is to be expected with ice cream. I can't believe this. After all that build up, I don't even get to taste one. Wait, pause. Melted or not, the ingredients are still there. Melting shouldn't change the flavor, right? I guess so? Maybe? Why don't we just come back again tomorrow and wait in line for a good, not melted one? <laughs> we'll have plenty of time to chat while we wait. Maybe we can get to know each other a little better? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Like you said before, waiting in line is part of what makes cones delicious, right? <laughs> I'm sure they'll taste even more amazing after spending all that time with you. Yes, indeed, making yourself hungry 
um, while waiting for your food makes the food taste even better. Uh, as an uh, experienced chef myself, yes, I was a chef before I became a YouTuber. So yeah, take my word for it. Okay, so we've completed the story. So let's do the events. And let's see how difficult it is to tackle Hilda and her turtle. But first, uh, we have to fight this boss. So more challenges with Hilda and Turpik, although it's kind of pointless to compare like this because, well, like I said, oh, we finally have that skill, so let's do this, let's boost our speed and try and stop us, here we go, um, buddies, flame charge, if only we had Snivy around to give us more energy. And do a white guard. Alright, so let's use the sing move. Some pretty decent damage. Let's see, I don't know whether our speed is totally maxed out yet. Okay, it's still boosting, so we can still do some more flame charges. I really really want to see the pit at its max. Let's heal up. Okay, the speed is still gaining, but let's try and stop us now. Okay, we can do that again. Alright, let's do a flat bit to see its full potential. Okay, still pretty okay. Ah, look at that look, look at that oh, yeah. recoil. It's ridiculous. So <laughs> I'm still right. Surfit is not exactly a very good offensive Pokemon. If it does so much damage to itself. So guys, take my word for it. You know, even if you do get uh, Hilda and Turpik, you know, I think using her, I, I wouldn't call it finishing move, but <laughs> it, it, it does finishes off yourself. But knocking out your own Pokemon will actually not benefit you because um, if you played co-op um, mode for quite some time already, like I have, um, knocking out your own Pokemon will give the opponent advantage, you boost them in stats, so it's always key to not knock out a single Pokemon of yours in your team. So yeah, so Turpic is really a double-edged sword. Not very ideal to have the skill of the attack knock you out. Wow, look at that. The Rosary is really hanging in there. So I'm really boosting up my attack here. Oh, skill. Skill. Running out of potions, that's not a good thing. Okay, let's use this. Oh, goodbye. Everyone is dying, oh no. There we go, we knocked out Roserade. So let's do another flame charge. We can do Thunder Shock. The steel is weak against electric. Oh, I forgot to change target. <laughs> oh no, there goes most part. again. All right, so let's try and stop us, and let's play Blitz to see whether Tepic knocks up itself. Almost. Oh, there goes the first eight skill. 
that was pretty nice. But still, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if if it doesn't KO itself and still has remaining health and the skill Nick kicks in, I think it still has a chance. But like I mentioned in my last video, if your second attack after recovering HP doesn't come first and your opponent attacks you, your third pick is still done for. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. Personally, I do not think it is a very good Pokemon setup. Now, so let's play this in co-op mode and see how things go. Um, okay, so fire, water, and fighting is useful. So I'm gonna edit my team here. Um, I do have a Lucario. Where is my Lucario? Uh, where are you, Lucario? <laughs> where is the, the bugger? Ah, here it is. So, it's... The trainer is maxed out right now. Uh, I don't really have the resources to, um, you know, to, to unlock the cat. So, I'm gonna change this team's name to Hilda. So I know that this team is set up to fight Hilda. Here we go. So, same thing. I'm still promoting the Lisa combo or the combat style. Lisa is definitely an awesome low ranking trainer you can get easily from the scouts. That is good for support. So we have the fighting and water trainer standing by. So we're going to support them. Hopefully they can knock out. Hilda way faster than uh, required. If not, you know, her end boy is gonna roast us. The Schmiderins, hopefully she roast, her, roast herself first before she roasts us. So let's see how this co-op battle goes. So, pretty okay considering that I'm boosting their defenses. Although I am boosting the wrong kind of defense, but that's okay. So Rotopic does use the normal attack and defense stats when it comes to its personal attack and of course its opponent's defense. So let's go with Psychic. We're gonna help boost for the unity attack. Why is the Ferrari Gator not doing anything? There we go. Yeah, nice amount of damage considering. So we, we do see the first aid skill come into play. Alright, so as you can tell, her pick defense is paper thin. Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna switch out to an offensive Pokemon. We're gonna help kill the other side members. Alright, since M Boy is definitely gone. So, this is not the hardest difficulty that the event is capable of. We all know that by now. If you guys have been playing constantly, like I have. That would definitely hurt if it was a higher difficulty. We're gonna evolve to Mega Lecario with our Sig move. There we go. Oh, I didn't even get a chance. <laughs> but that's okay. So like all these events, we have to complete these co-op stages a few times. To clear those missions that come with this event, get all those wonderful, wonderful resources. Um, of course, we're gonna tackle the hard mode now. Uh, I think this is the highest difficulty that this event is gonna provide with us, but still, do not underestimate the um, difficulty that um, you know Hilda and Perfect can bring. Even though Hilda's Terpic, or rather Emboar, is kind of a self-destructing Pokemon. Do not look down on her partners beside her, because they are pretty scary tanky Pokemon as well. So here we go. 
Hopefully we do knock that out on the first try. Okay, I'm gonna boost their attacks first because you know, since I am boosting the wrong kind of defense, as you can tell I'm already taking quite a bit of damage. And Polium is going for the kill first. Ow! Oh, why do you go for the bubble? It's not gonna do much. Come on, bubble beam, god dang it. Okay, we're gonna use the last defense just because we could. Alright, and after that, we're gonna cut support with the offensive. Ow! So, my. <laughs> Luna Stone ain't gonna survive that sing move. I don't know if I want to change Pokemon because if my offensive Pokemon is getting knocked out, it kind of beats the point. Yeah, Pokemon is doing a good job. I'm, I'm using as much um, Psyche as possible because we want to reduce the energy count that is required to activate Sync. Uh, order the unity move. So let's do this. Alright, we still haven't gotten Ember to activate its first aid. If we can bring it as low as possible, or oh, there we go, it activates its skill. Uh, if we are able to knock out Ember without having it activate its skill, that would be fantastic. So here it comes, the sick move is coming. But we should be able to do our unity move before it does its sync. So let's pull off the water to do as much damage to F ball. Hopefully my fifth uh, my fifth club is able to survive the attack. Hopefully. Oh wow, that wasn't even a lot. Oh no, here he comes. Oh, I am so nervous for this. Oh wow! Oh no, Totodao got knocked out. Okay, we did survive, so that's not too bad, but it's gonna get a boost because they knocked out Totodao. Oh, that is not good. That is not looking good at all. So here we go, no hesitation. Let's go all out for the end. Oh wow! That potion <laughs> Oh, that is not nice. Alright, here we go, all three sync moves. Ooh. Oh, Empoleon survived! Oh wow! Oh, that is so nerve-wracking. Okay, can we do this on our first go? That's a pretty nice amount of damage, but Empoleon, you have to run. Oh, he's still staying around. Oh no, that's not a good thing. Oh, I'm not doing enough to do uh, a very good amount of damage. Oh, they are targeting me now. Oh, that's not a good thing. Oh, stop healing the hand, boy! You got that stupid Pokemon! <laughs> so, I guess the strategy here is maybe to knock out the side partners first because they do have potion skills on them. So, it is pretty annoying. <laughs> I mean, after all, they could heal their, themselves as well. So I don't know, to, to really exhaust their potion um, skills is kind of difficult. Oh, okay, okay. Still alive, but it's, it's not burned, right? Okay, it's not burned. So that's not too bad. Yes! Let's go for the unity! Oh, bye bye, Turtle. <laughs> oh, this is not looking good. He's on his last stun. Oh, and Polion, you have to run! Oh, can we kill the Ember? Yes, we did it! Okay! So, um, I'm gonna use Bubble to, to save energy cost at the same time reduce my own Sync, uh, sync move count plus the Unity as well. So we can hit both at the same time. I still have my Lucario. Oh, and Polion is gone. That's kind of sad. Okay, I'm gonna leave no pass around because Lucario is the only thing I have left that can repeat it. 
So we're gonna go for the, uh, the what's his name again? Bell. I, I can't remember his name. Oh god, <laughs> my Pokemon Encyclopedia isn't working right now. Oh no! Oh no, pre -plug. Oh, nice amount of damage there. I should switch out now. Okay, wow, well, they are still not. Oh, there it is. The multi hit. Oh, that's just horrible. Let's go, Lucario! Alright, dire hit. Oh, they're targeting me. That's not a good thing. Okay, we're gonna go close combat and all that. Okay, it's gone. So I could still survive. So I'm gonna do a charge up as well. Alright, the next round I attack is my sync move. Okay. We are doing pretty good actually. We're actually we are surviving. Nice. There we go. Hopefully I'll get into Mega Lucario. Do I miss my chance again? Oh, I get my chance. <laughs> Go! Oh, it's, it's the Unity move and not my Sick move. Ah, oh, god dang it! Will I really miss my chance of becoming Mega Lucario? <laughs> ah, it's okay, but we, we managed to defeat the hard difficulty of the co op, so there it is, guys, my example. And yes, as you can tell, if it weren't for the two partners for Hilda, to pick is paper thin. I seriously don't recommend you uh, using her in your team setup. I'm sure there are definitely. Oh, that's nice. We get GP the notes. So, um, I'm sure there are way better trainers out there with fire Pokemon with better stats and skill setups as compared to Hilda and her topic. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure for Hilda's event. Uh, hopefully you guys are able to clear the co-ops uh, easily and of course with the strategy I've provided with you guys through all my tutorial videos, the Lisa way is the way to go. Uh, yeah, let me know how you guys did in the comments down below and of course if you appreciate and enjoyed the content, leave a like to this video, share the video out to all your friends who are playing Pokemon Masters and of course the most important of all, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed just yet. And I'll see you guys soon in another, well, Utah Macross or maybe Pokemon Masters video. See which one comes first. Bye!